Colonization active. This is Sci-Fi Prime, colonizing Friday nights on Sci-Fi with four new original series. Farscape, an intergalactic epic from the Jim Henson Company and Hallmark Entertainment. Poltergeist, the legacy, prepare to face the darkness. Sliders, Sci-Fi's biggest hit, takes on new dimensions. First Wave, from Francis Ford Coppola. Four new reasons to leave reality behind. This is Sci-Fi Prime. Friday nights, from 7 to 11 Eastern, only on Sci-Fi. Well, howdy, folks. Mike Nelson here, and, uh... Welcome to the Satellite of Love. <laughs> Richard Attenborough. Uh, before we get started, I should tell you that I just put my hands in something very cold and wet. Mike, Ick. you interrupted our wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> Your wet t-shirt contest. You know, the favorite form of entertainment in Florida, Southern California, and parts of Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and these would be your wet t-shirts. Right now, <laughs> I won with my Waffle Net Crew Neck, which absorbed a full 1.35 liters of water. And while Crow right. won the day, my Hanes Beefy Tea absorbed faster with less dripping. Mm -hmm. But we're not quite sure still what the whole big deal is over wet t-shirt contests. I have to have a little talk with my robots and we'll be right back after this. Okay. Uh, Mike? Yeah. What's happening? Yeah. I don't know. Usually we go right, only to be right back. Well, we're not. Could you do something, please? Okay. Hang on. Again. We'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, hell, I'm leaving. Uh, Mike, uh, jiggle something or something. Okay, uh, you know, maybe, excuse me, maybe it's this piece of... Ah, yeah, there, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. there we go. We'll be right back, I, I hope. Really? Best detergent for getting rid of bacteria in your laundry? New Tide with bleach. The only detergent that kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. For Dan and Lisa, it just clicked. So they loaded up their Ford Expedition and got back to doing what they loved. Answering the call of the wild. I lost them. And they unleashed a beast of their own. That big 5.4 liter Triton V8. You thought Little Red Riding Hood got a close look. Ford Expedition. Built Ford tough. We're looking at the third, fourth, and fifth planets to help you remember 1010345. The simple way to save up to 50% on international calls. Uh, Jupiter is the fifth planet, not Saturn. Whoops.
breast cancer, something that's not carried in our family. It doesn't family. run in our no. family. No, there's no breast cancer in my family. No one in my family. No one. Breast cancer is caused by a gene. And we don't have it. Well, I've lived this long without breast cancer. I'm sure my chances of getting it are small. I feel that my chances are less at my age. I'm pretty sure my chances of getting it are small. I've lived this long without breast cancer. Many women at risk for breast cancer don't know it. But by calling for this free video, you'll learn about a set of questions your doctor has that can actually predict your chances of getting breast cancer. Why would I want to know if I'm at risk if there's nothing I can do? Well, if they're at risk when there's nothing you can do about it. There is something you can do. Today, your doctor has ways that may help reduce your chances of getting breast cancer if you find you're at high risk. So call for this video. It's free and it's priceless. Because high risk or not, every woman owes it to herself to find out. There is something you can do. Welcome to the year 2000. Still waiting for the future? Get a little taste of tomorrow right now. Shop online at the Sci-Fi Store for the latest and greatest selection of Sci-Fi merchandise awaits. www.scifi.com slash store. Enter our advance order catalog for all new Star Wars merchandise only at the Sci-Fi Store. On the next Farscape. Prepare to attack! Sorry about the mess. Sci-Fi Prime, Friday night at 8. This is Sci-Fi. Hi, and welcome back to the Satellite of... Whoa. Hey, what's going on? Why, it's Martin Van Buren, our nation's eighth president. Yeah. Uh, Cambar, could we do something about that? Uh, ah, there we go. go. Okay, thanks. Anyway, we got a lot to do today, so if we could... Uh... Hey, now there was another guy, and he was trying to say something. Did you see what? that? Oh, it was probably Martin Van Buren again, and he was trying to say, Hi, I'm Martin Van Buren, 8th President of the United States. I was born in Kinderhook, New York. Now, would you stop with the Kinderhook, New York? Mike, the ship is 10 years old. You've got to expect these kind of malfunctions. Yeah, I just got this cup of coffee from the food synthesizer, and it gave me corn niblets instead. Ew, corn with half and half and sweet and low? Yuck. Mm. Well, I take my corn black, so it's not a problem. Oh, I see. <laughs> Attention, attention, the ship is undergoing multiple malfunctions and they're increasing geometrically. Man. Just thought I'd let you stupid idiots know. Yeah, what? stupid idiots. Chips, did we do something to offend you? Oh, cram it, you meat puppet. I don't have time for your constant whiny crap. Wow. Oh. Well, you know, she does have a point, Mike. That's true. No, can't whiny. you see Gypsy's malfunctioning like everything else? Oh. Right, let me get a hold of Pearl. Hey, Pearl, Pearl, hello, Pearl. Our vessel is malfunctioning. Uh, vessel. Oh, hold on a second, Mike. Just let me check to see if I care. I've... Oh, um... No. Seems like I don't. Um, no. Brain guy, do you care? Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Um, let me check. Just see if I care. Uh, no. No, seems like I don't care. <laughs> Bobo? How come I always gotta be the thimble? Bobo says no. Oh. And now the shower's not working. Oh, Mike, it's only been three minutes. Oh. <laughs> well, he does tend to perspire heavily. Oh, that? Pearl, can you help at all, huh? You. Do you want to help him out, brain guy? Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Uh, well, of course I'd like to. No. Me neither. Oh, come on, you guys. You gotta help them out. Otherwise, they'll die, and we won't have anybody to play with. Bobo, you're right. Oh. Mike. I find that in times of crisis, watching a skin-peelingly bad movie can truly help. To that end, I offer you the balm that is Soul Taker, a movie which an ambitious young lady wrote for herself to star in. I now turn over your healing process to her. Brain guy, you want to send the movie there? Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Well, I Games over powder. I would love to do it. I just a little hard with your eyeball being twisted. Hey, what the? Oh, now these stupid doors. Try manually, Mike. <laughs> well, I guess you just can't watch the movie. <laughs> no, oh, 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 oh. Hey, 
My seat won't go down. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Well, good luck having the baby, honey. I got tickets to the game. Because you're mine, I walk the intensive care unit. I don't like the new candy striper uniforms. Fish filet gloves. I guess I don't need those. I'm Ed Bradley. I'm Steve Croft. I'm Leslie Stahl. Time for your meds. <laughs> Right thing to do. Oh, you can't even tell he's had a baby. I got stigmata, I bet you don't. I'll just borrow your liver for just a minute. Oh, it's Rocky Mountaining. The death of Helmut Cole. Magic fingers have gone berserk. Yana Glachi. Yana Glachi. Uses Ghostbusters technology. This is your brain on death. Any questions? Can I have some more applesauce? You know, it's just not death with dignity if there's an Estevez in the room. <laughs> no. Hang on, a couple of strands of soul got stuck to the tape on my mouth. I think he's hourly or does he get paid on a per soul basis? Hmm. See, if he put the club on his soul, this would not have happened. Hmm. Well, I'm head down to TJ Mellonberry's for Coors Light. George Clooney's taking his shirt off. Oh, he's dead. Time for a cigarette break. Soup taper? What? Yeah, let it get a little close. Right. The soup taker! Uh, does anything really star Joe Estevez? Isn't that kind of an oxymoron? Some kind of moron. <laughs> Hey, it's Jim McMahon. I bet you can never get the smell of Hardee's out of that car. <laughs> <coughs> well, shouldn't you also be talking on the cell phone and eating yogurt? <laughs> gets any closer, he's going to get stuck in her hair. Dude. I'm charmed by the fact that he almost sideswiped me. <laughs> Video, come here, boy. Yeah, crank that Sansui. Oh, that's a screenwriter and star. Earl told me. <laughs> I want to look my best if I'm going to see the motels tonight. Hmm. Do I want to look like David Bowie or Mary Gross? No, this would be more appropriate for a Thompson Twins concert. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's not a dress, that's a cake. Hmm, <laughs> I sure look forward to that Michael J. Fox movie tonight. She does all right in their data entry salary. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Mm -hmm. That must be Lucy. Hi, Mr. McMillan. Is Natalie ready? I don't think Natalie is ever ready. Hmm? That's not Natalie, that's Tanya Harding. Story by so there will be a story that's encouraging. Yeah. Mm, I love you, Scott Bayo. This was before I grew a torso. When he used to carry me around. <sighs> Is 
must be the all-white snake station. Why do you suppose there's flecks of blood on the wall? He's going to start a radio hitting business. <laughs> People showing up places. Your movie, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, tough morning choosing between acid washed or blasted denim. Music to spin donuts by. Mm. Come on, man. I still got to pick up Tommy. Uh, let me wake up the rest of Menudo. Hang on. Hi, Mr. Taylor. Since I'm Bob Vila, I won't return your greeting. Oh, man. Please don't ever stop being the 80s when my life is over. You're dead, Nancy Kerrigan. I like it when I see me. Natalie? Karen's here. Uh, just a second, Dad. I'll be right down. Here, I'll put this in my loser ex-boyfriend picture drawer. See you, Bob. Yeah, sure, whoever you are. Later. We are planning to rock. <laughs> hey, when are you ever going to get that thing fixed, anyway? <laughs> I still got to take the pistons out. But hey, I'm finished grinding the valves. He's preparing for the mother of all comb overs. You never want to make enough money to pay someone to do that? You know how. Hey, Brad. Well, can't we just rock? And that's over. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just kidding, man. Chill out, will you? I don't do that stuff anymore. Really. He used band roll-on on his lips. <laughs> hey, let's get out of here. But by the way, do you wear your sunglasses at night so you can, so you can keep track of the visions in your dreams? Ooh. Got kids today putting their cars in reverse, backing carefully out of driveways. Short for summer festering. Yep. Well, the balloons have certainly convinced me it's fun. I thought we had enough gas. I'm sorry. Hey, 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 wait, hey, hey, that took my soul right there. Pick up Jimmy Page. Oh, now I parking my Brad DeVille. <laughs> you better believe it, man. I'm psyched. I'm going to score me a funnel cake. Everybody fast. Ooh. Hey, what are you looking for? Nothing. <laughs> looking for Natalie. Natalie? Hey, so what if I am? Natalie? Hey, uh, this sounds like a real interesting conversation, you guys, but I'll check you guys out later. And since no one knows who I am, it won't really matter. What? I can't believe you, man. How many times do I have to tell you that Natalie McMillan is a rich... Hmm? The only way you're going to get a girl like that is with money, and you ain't got it. So forget it. Yeah? You don't even know the girl. Yeah, lucky for me. You want to go or not? No, I, I think I'll just hang out here for a while. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, come back and get me when the teddy bear band takes the stage. You're losing it, my friend. Calcium. Every day. 100 milligrams here, 30 there. What can you do? This, new Viactive. This is an amazing calcium source. A soft chocolate chew, just 20 calories. Viactive is sweet and loaded with calcium. Half the daily value in each remarkable chew. You lose it every day? Take Viactive every day. Be sweet to your bones. If you're looking for real heavy rain, look no further than the Push Washington. For real big trees, Auric, California. Real early risers, Oligosh, Maine. And for real ranch dressing, Hidden Valley. Made from the original recipe, it's how ranch is supposed to taste. Hidden Valley, we're keeping it real. You want to get the most out of every day and the most out of your contact lenses. They need to work as long and as hard as you do. To get more mileage out of your lenses, you need the power and ease of OptiFree Super Cleanse Daily Protein Remover. Call for your free sample now. 
Just one drop of Super Cleanse in your lens case overnight removes daily protein buildup and keeps your lenses like new longer. Just one drop. It's that easy. Day after day, season to season. On all types of contacts, Super Cleanse will help you get more mileage out of your lenses. Call now for a free sample and see for yourself. Because people who use Super Cleanse keep their lenses longer than people who don't. Guaranteed. So you can get the most out of every day. Isn't that why you got contacts in the first place? Get more mileage out of your lenses with Super Cleanse, the one and only daily protein remover. Call now for your free sample. Try it. Feel it. Believe it. Dennis Quaid is about to embark on a fantastic voyage somewhere inside Martin Short. Inner Space, Thursday at 9 on Sci-Fi. On the next sliders. Somebody out there is very angry. Your friends seem to be dying of old age. Sliders, part of Sci-Fi Prime, Friday night at 9. This is Sci-Fi. Yum, half a mushroom Swiss burger. Just wait for me under the floor mat, man. Wow, until this moment, his long hair and back completely distracted me from the fact that he's balding in front. Yeah. The lead singer for Mr. Mister is concerned. He's the driver. He rocks. Who else? Hold my finger. God, he's a catcher's mitt with eyes. I want the soul of that stuffed bunny on the window. It's Boy George. What time? Eight o'clock. Who can't? Gonna be a lunch taker then. Is that all? No. There's one more. Just hit her in the leg with a pipe. Hmm, pricey, but you get to keep the glass. <laughs> hey, I see him. Where? Right over there. Don't point. Sorry, sorry. What should I do? Should I go over and say hi to her? I would. Natalie! Natalie McMillan, I thought you moved away. Where have you been? College. Well, where? New York. New York? Why so far away? It makes stalking you hard. I made kind of a deal with my dad. Well, it's great to see you. Come on, let's dance. I'm Gino Vanelli. He's John Stamosing. Mm -hmm. Ahoy, darling. Oh, hi. I think you like it. <laughs> I want to be happy today. It's an Amish band. Don't let me be lonely. Hi, I'm indeterminately a man. I wanna be happy today. Found a gay man. One minute, Just off for the Anything Goes rehearsal. Next we're in wanna hear me do Super Bowl Shuffle? I find hard to Enjoy the balloon. <laughs> All I know is we're together. Hi, I had your baby, remember? I just gotta hang around and be John Stamos, sorry. Yeah. You're a girl and stuff. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was assaulted, it's fun. What's your name? I'm Debbie. Natalie. Chicks and ducks and geese better scurry. She reminds me of someone I knew a long time ago. Oh. Reba McIntyre. Just someone I used to know. Man, that guy's got a small face. Now, just the Mennonites. Thank you. Our hand-hewn wood CDs are available at the gate. Hmm? Uh, oh, no. Balloons. I hate balloons. Trees. Convertible cars. Oh, no. I'm overwhelmed. Well, hey, can I call you sometime? We can go to the George Will concert. Hey! 
Sorry, love is lifting me up where I belong. Sean! The mace on my skate broke. That airs out my armpits. Hey, Zach, man, I'm really proud of you. I made it through the whole afternoon without asking Natalie to dance. Yeah, I wanted to. Every time I got the nerve up, she disappeared. Too bad it's not for good. <laughs> you know, I could be saying it is balloons so many times right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's noon. Summerfest is over. Oh, no, it's Kathy Griffin. Hey, where's Zach? Take a guess. A polishing her scrimshaw collection? Oh, that idiot. <laughs> Natalie. You typically did it. Zach. <laughs> How you been? Great. Great. Yeah. When would you get back in town? Uh, last night. Mm -hmm. So, what have you been doing? How would I know? I've been taking night classes at the college. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, what are you taking? What's well, a business course? I want to own my own business. Restoring old cars? <laughs> you remembered. Well, we did go out for five years and just broke up two weeks ago. What are you doing? Who are you waiting for? Karen. Well, where is she? Uh, she went somewhere with John. I don't know. She's with her John? She just left you here? No, I'm sure she's going to be back eventually. You know, there's a summer fest next year. She'll probably show up for that. Come on, now, let's go. Where are we skinny on? A minute. Come on, I hate to leave you here like this. Well, she's got to come back for a car. Wait, tomorrow, maybe, not tonight. <laughs> come on, come with us. Are you sure it's okay? I'm so sure. Just come on. Back. Just move those one hitters out of the way there. Hi. Oh, I think I just sat in someone's cheeserito. What's this? <laughs> Natalie needs a ride. But she's upper middle class, and we're slightly lower middle. Well, let's go to Centerville Summerfest. Hey, I do. I really do walk the line. Hi, folks. You may be wondering if I'm Martin Sheen. Well, I'm not. Turns out I'm his vastly more talented yet less appreciated brother. Thank you. Hmm. Did the big chin say 8 or 8.30? I'm at Bradley. <laughs> they are, in fact, traveling down the road, and they are flirting with disaster. Mm -hmm. My lunch is about to do a round trip, dude. Whoa. Oh, it's the virtual drunk idiot game. Come on, Brad, what's the hurry? What's the hurry? I'm in no hurry, man. I'm simply rocking. I'm never in a hurry. Oh, I like you're getting car sick. Well, that's because you're reading. Put that down. Sorry. Flashing back to other people's memories. <laughs> slow down. I mean, you better slow down. Sorry, I can't drive 55. Slow down now. <laughs> Fake. <laughs> Leak taker. Where's David Burns' head? <laughs> He's Billy Idling. Hi, I'm a tree. Just want to put in a good word or two for nature since the camera's on me. Thanks for your time. Man, I love that chord. Save the balloon! I hope we were thrown violently out of the movie. Damn. She's survived by her damn skins. Rolling voice module. We got thrown from the car in an equidistant fashion. I hope they didn't hurt their tight pants points hardly renowned. Well, we lost the meaningless redheaded woman. Dummy, didn't you see that warning Joe Estevez crossing sign? At least my spiral perm wasn't damaged. Ooh, the triple saw cow really takes it out of you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell happened? I don't know. 
I think we hit a tree or something. Something, I don't know, maybe a cucumber. Mm -hmm. Is some son of a standing right in the middle of the road? We crashed? It's her fault for being rich. If y'all hadn't been yelling so much, I probably could have made it. You know, we must have gotten thrown clean from the car. Where is the car? Well, you learned how to drive, Brad. Huh? Hey, why don't you just shut up? Yeah? You know, this is really <laughs> weird. None of us even got hurt. Wait a minute, where's my balloon? What? Yeah. Candace. Something is definitely wrong. The whirlpool is ice cold. Life support is failing, and there's a mysterious ship keeping pace with us and holding us in its trek to be. Oh my gosh, an alien presence is attacking us. Oh, what do we do, Mike? What do we do? Uh, turn it over to Gypsy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, much on this. Oh, oh, great. Gypsy's hopeless. You better take command, Mike. Ah, me? Yeah, we're losing time, Mike. Lead us. Inspire us. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm in command. All yeah, right. Good. Uh, put alien ship on view screen. Good. good. That'll, that'll help. There. Uh, yeah, I think we need a little something more, Mike. Life support is still failing and all. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, increase magnification. Uh, Mike, we actually don't all right, have just a little bit magnification. Whatever. Good. All right. Uh, shields up. Shield? Shield? Uh, keep smoking. Arm photon torpedoes. Uh, Mike, uh, okay. we only had that one photon torpedo, but uh, Crow set it off in your locker, if you remember. <laughs> that oh, was decent. Okay. Uh, well, then uh, close hex field. Whoa. Uh, there. I've broken the hex field. Carry on. I'll be in my ready oh. room. Great, Mike. That's just great. Uh, we'll be right back. Uh, you gonna need any corn in there? AT&T Info, how can I help you? Yes, I'd like the phone number of the Blue Lagoon Resort. I don't know the area code. Do I need to call Florida Information? Now all you need is one number to get any local or long distance number. AT&T customers, dial 00. You never need the area code. Got it. I'm there. Dial 00 for any number, anywhere. We'll even connect you to your number for free. Oh, oh, it's magic, you know. Based on reactions so far, we're so sure you'll love Kellogg's Nutri-Grain Twist Bars, we'll give you your money back if you don't. Yeah. Just send the bottom panel with the UPC barcode for a full refund. Guaranteed. How's that for a twist? Mm -hmm. Kellogg's Nutri-Grain Twists. Like them. You'll try them for your money back. Yeah. You've got this huge customer. They're so huge, sometimes they don't even know when they've received a shipment. Whose problem is this? Yours. That's why you ship UPS, because only UPS Total Track captures signatures electronically. Then you can use UPS online software to see your customer's actual signature. So when they say, we never got it, you can say not only did you get it, but uh, you don't dot your eyes. UPS, moving at the speed of business. <laughs> six months and you have to use it as part of a stop smoking program you have to stop smoking first then you can't use it with anything else containing nicotine it's important to tell your doctor if you have heart or lung disease or are pregnant or nursing the most common side effects are mild throat or mouth irritation cough and upset stomach how do i look surprisingly intelligent ask your doctor for product information Call now to learn more about the new Nicotrol inhaler and get a free copy of Pathways to Change, Nicotrol's personalized plan full of tips to help you quit smoking. 
The Nicotrol inhaler and Pathways to Change should be used as part of a total stop smoking program. Call now and you'll also receive a coupon worth $5 off your prescription, plus a sample inhaler mouthpiece. So call now to get started. Welcome to the 2000. Remember the future? Not everything turned out like we hoped. But even though robots aren't doing our laundry, we have made a few advancements. Today, almost anything you could want is right at your fingertips. Log on to the Sci-Fi Store now, and you'll find one of the world's biggest and best collections of Sci-Fi gifts, toys, apparel, and more. Simply select your items, and they'll be delivered right to your door within days. What could be easier? The Sci-Fi Channel Store. A little taste of tomorrow, today. Ah. I'm Marshall Brodeen, a professional magician. I'm going to take her soul and her Garfield keychain. Her soul has a refreshing mint flavor. Ew, it smells like Marlboro Lights and Jovan Musk. Ah, hot, oh, hot soul, hot, oh, hot, oh. Hey, buddy, could you just hand me your soul? Does this bug you? I'm not touching you. This man's recently been rocking. Hey, my hand is covered with bronzer. Okay, just shove the irony down our throats. Oh, Man, I'm not gonna reach my quota. This is what happens when death is run by low-level bureaucrats. <gasps> Michael Learned! Can you work for me on Thursday? Trailer! Where are the other four? Uh, they're on layaway. What happened? Displacement. <laughs> You must track them, and you must abide by the rules of time and space. Yeah, what are those again? Quickly. Don't look at me like that. Kathy Rigby, paramedic. Dispatcher says paramedic unit. Just as I suspected. Hungry Jack complete. Just add water. Hey, it's Hamilton Jordan. Uncut lick made. I should have known. Since I'm Griffin Dunn. Amazing that they weren't all killed. You find the ID? We're getting them. Oh, yeah. Tell me something. You see anything about this picture that doesn't fit? What do you mean? I mean that. The door? It was open when we got here. Yeah. So what do you figure the chances are of a door opening by itself on impact and a head-on collision? Quite good, really. Don't take this the wrong way, Sarge, but... Uh, Get bent. I think you're reading too much into it. It's always the same argument with us, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Let's get out of here. Let's go get some stroganoff. You like firemen? I sure don't. Man, my monthly soul count is really tanking. I'm never gonna win that set of steak knives. Oh, sorry, is the camera still on? Jeez. Okay, okay I'll get back. Well, they might have left their souls in the glove compartment. Hmm. Frank Booth cam. Hey, hey, you forgot us! Shut up! You forgot four of the passengers, don't... Hmm? Oh, Shut up, please. What's his problem? People love to hear me talk. Jeez. Oh, man. Please let my Billy Squire tape still be here. Oh, man. Look at it, man. It's mangled. God, we are lucky to be alive. Whoa, a lot of curly fries under there. <laughs> oh, Candace must have really been messed up, man. Do you have any gray coupon? My major red boots. What are you doing in my car, man? Hey, wait a minute. You were the dude who was in the...
the middle of the road. You made me wreck my car. That tightens my pants. So what are you still hanging around here for? Hmm? You guys, I think we better go. My nephew made mighty ducks. Uh, get off me! Uh, he's just panicking to get souls because he drew against his commission. America's most beloved drug retailer was killed today. Oh. Man, he's dead, man. Get he's dead! Hooray, let's tell the town. Hmm. Now, how can I possibly get the others? Perhaps by pursuing them, I might catch them in some manner. Hmm. No messy soul residue. Hmm. But I'm not going to check. Hey, Marlboro brand gas. Three, two, beer run. Oh, come on, sweetheart. You know I'd never cheat on you. Why, I'd never even look at another woman. Well, this is a man I'm looking at. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they have turkey jerky here. Sure, I love you. Edward Hopper's Quickie Mart. Jolene, what's she got to do with this? They call the police. I don't see him. He's out there somewhere. We saw him murder somebody. He's not just gonna let us go. Hey, we need to use your phone. This guy just killed our friend out there. He's after us. Hello? You expect me to believe that? I'm telling you the truth. I can't get out of here with this crap. I I'm not hanging up till I get this little matter settled. What's the matter? This guy, he, he won't get off the phone. He's just ignoring me. You know I'm getting sick and tired of your accusations. Why, it's Harvey. Hi, Harvey. Once they become teenagers, boy, do their tastes change. Everything gets louder. And they're always hungry. Sure glad I found this. Introducing new Chef Boyardee overstuffed beef ravioli. It's huge ravioli overflowing with beef to satisfy their growing appetites. And zestier to satisfy their grown-up tastes. This is good stuff. But no matter how big he gets, he'll always be my little baby. Mom. <laughs> new overstuffed beef ravioli from Chef Boyardee. Hi, I'm Steve. This is Kathy. Oh, and we just love Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. We come here every day, you know, just hoping he'll make an appearance of some sort. Uh, excuse me, could you send out Tony when you see him? Tony who? Oh, come on. <laughs> Frosted Flakes are about so much more than just great taste. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's that, and then there's Tony, you know. Mm -hmm. Then there's uh, the frosting, and then there's Tony. All right, okay. Take a picture. Okay, got it. Okay. Okay, he looks good. different. Um, I think, I think that's a woman. You're right. Yeah. They're great! That was interesting. The all new Volkswagen Jetta. Sometimes everything just comes together. These are great. I can't believe they actually came out. Yeah, they could have been a real disaster. Our honeymoon. It rained. It was romantic. It rained. It was exotic. It rained. Come on. With Kodak Max, you'll never miss a moment. It's the film that captures action in rain or shine. We had some sun. Yeah, the day we left. Sunlight, low light, action, or still. Kodak Max. It's all you need to know about film. It's a fact. All whitening toothpastes are not the same. Aquafresh whitening is different. Only Aquafresh has TriClean, a patented whitener proven to remove stains like coffee, tea, and cola without harming tooth enamel. So the TriClean and Aquafresh helps restore teeth to their natural whiteness, plus Aquafresh gives you full fluoride and tartar protection too. That's quite a difference. Aquafresh whitening gets teeth stronger, brighter, and TriClean whiter. Dennis Quaid is about to embark on a fantastic voyage somewhere 
deep inside. Martin Short. Somebody help me! I'm possessed! What the hell is that? Where are you? Where are you, you little weasel? Inner Space, Thursday at 9. On Sci Fi. On the next first wave. The nice man from the organic store. He said he could turn back the clock. How could she resist? First wave, part of Sci Fi Prime, Friday night at 10. This is Sci Fi. Who is that guy? Have you ever seen him before? No. 911. Hello. I, I want to make a report about a, a murder that happened. Hello? Yeah. I, I want to make a report about a murder that happened tonight. Look harder. <laughs> she hung up on me. What is everybody deaf around here? Why? Looks like he's wearing a seaweed hat. No, we're not going here. I'll stay right here where it's safe. Hey, I think I saw something. Where? In East Dubuque. What do you think? Right here. Over there. It's a tall thing made of wood with green stuff on top. Hey, it's probably just a wind dog. Yeah, sorry I kept a lookout for the psycho killer. I don't think so. Hey, what's that? It's a moose. What do you think it is? It's a tow truck. It's the car! I love Rick Ocasek. Sorry, don't have a tow bar. Happy St. Blaze Day. Oh, you wearing that? You went to the old time picture booth at Six Flags. Tanya Harding is Scarlett O'Hare. A machine or an Estevez? Mother. Wait! No! Give me your stupid soul! <laughs> Remember, you need only walk briskly to get away from him. Help me. I need condoms. What now? Oh my God, we forgot Tommy! We've got to go back and get him! Look, he's at the store. He's going to be safe there. Let's just get to your house and call the cops, okay? Come on. Get your son up. They'll kill you too. Why don't you listen to me? I'm watching cops. If I die, I'm going to die eating string cheese and fruitopia. Hey, I just fed the cockroaches. Here, uh, give me some whoppers while you're in there. Why did you take the girl when you had the chance? She the rules. Hmm? Still in time. Not much. Where does that guy even keep his acorns? You must restore the balance or pay the penalty. Oops. Police, open up. My response to spills is to go home. Keep out? Oh, foiled again. Can I put up a lost cat poster? Do you have a phone so I can call Martin to take over my role? Is it money you want, man? Is that what you want? Or do you want the new living room set from Broy Hill? I got plenty of it, man. Go ahead, take it. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Where are the steward sandwiches? It's closing time. Does that mean that every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end? Mm. I think so. Okay. I was playing horsey. Mm, got a leaky cash register. I'll race you to film obscurity. <laughs> yep. Slow and steady wins the soul. Yep. A nice antebellum home. I'm antebellum brothers. Does that count? <laughs> Oh, oh, Natalie, are you all right? We've been worried sick about you. What's going on here? What is the matter? Where's Dad? Where's Dad? He's with the, the back door's locked. He's looking for you. <laughs> There's someone out there. There's someone out there who's trying to kill us. What? Okay, the doors are locked. Do you have a gun? Well, my husband. Where is it? Dad, no. Where is the gun, Mr. Dad? Let's call the police and let them take care of it. Right, no, no one is calling anyone until I find out what this is all about. Now, what makes you...
you think someone is trying to kill you? There's a man out there. Mm. We don't even know who he, he is. He killed Brad. We oh. saw him do it. Brad DeVille, we saw him do it. He's after us. He chased us here. Oh, I understand, dear. I'll get the pampering. Hmm? I don't know where, but he's out there somewhere. Natalie, come on upstairs and let me draw you a hot bath with Epsom salts. Or draw you a tree. Now? Mom, I'm not five years old. I know, sweetheart, but you need to relax and calm your nerves. Come on, I'll give you some heroin. Okay, just let me sit here a little bit longer. I'll follow you up. Okay, I'll go turn on the water. I'll do a strip tease for it. Uh, I have just got to write Mom out of the story. No, she's going to add Mr. Bubble and give herself a urinary infection. <laughs> Being low class, we only had corn cobs for windows. See anything? No. Well, I mean, I saw some of the outside and stuff. I'm really sorry about what happened to Brad. Yeah, so am I. And I was going to go to Chess King tonight, so this just bites. Well, uh, my dad can take you home when he gets here. I don't think that's such a good idea. I I'll just go with the police. I'll beat myself up and have myself held without charges. Well, if I don't see you again, Zach... It'll be too soon. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Zach, goodbyes are more effective when someone leaves. Wait, Natalie? I really didn't know anything about the coke in the car tonight, about Brad, about anything. Zach, it's okay. It's okay. You're lower class and stupid, I understand. Natalie. Uh, just a second, Mom. He's making violent love to me, Mother. Sounds like I'm wanted. You are. <laughs> Rick Springfield after Monty Clip's accident. Natalie. You want Batman crazy foam? I'm coming, Mom. Look, can I just help you take your clothes off? Or... Mike? Dumb Zach. <laughs> you need that change? I gotta make a call. This change? Yeah, that change. Oh, this change over here. Frank, have you forgotten about 1-800-COLLECT? Yeah. Well, I guess I don't need change. Right, and 1-800-COLLECT's cheaper than dialing zero. It'll save a buck or two. Go ahead, make your call. You mind moving your butt? Which butt? My butt? <laughs> oh, this butt. Let's go, move it. Say butt! <laughs> 1-800-COLLECT. Save a buck or two. These days, students need structure. In my home at class, my kids know, first we cook, then we clean. And that means soaking and scrubbing every pan and then loading it in the dishwasher. Cascade Plus, packed with amazing power pre-treaters, blasts away tough food problems you thought your dishwasher couldn't handle. Where other detergents fail, Cascade Plus leaves incredible results. A plus. Yes! Cascade Plus, leave the tough stuff to us. Am I on? <clears throat> Geico Direct could save you hundreds of dollars on car insurance. Result? Smaller bill. Geico. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more. At Geico, we get the ball rolling on your claim quickly. Even in the middle of the night. Geico. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Which after-shower spray cleaner leaves no dull residue? The answer is as clear as the label on the bottle. New Shower Shine from the Scrubbing Bubbles. They work hard after every shower, so you don't have to. If you're not using New Shower Shine after shower spray cleaner, the forecast for your shower is mostly cloudy. New Shower Shine from the Scrubbing Bubbles. They work hard after every shower, so you don't have to. Did the great pyramid builders use high technology? Now, Technologies of the Gods, an astonishing new video from the publishers of Atlantis Rising, uncovers the amazing answer, and it's yours absolutely free in this special TV offer. 
Watch John Anthony West, Robert Bobal, and others expose evidence of advanced prehistoric science. Watch modern engineering facilities unlock undreamed of ancient secrets. This 66-minute documentary costs $20 in stores, but it's yours free when you subscribe to Atlantis Rising Quarterly Magazine. Read the truth. The mainstream press won't tell you about ancient mysteries, alternative science, and unexplained anomalies from researchers like Graham Hancock, Zachariah Sitchin, and others. Save 20% off the $4.95 cover price and stay Stay informed. Call the number on your screen now and subscribe for just $19.95 and receive Technologies of the Gods absolutely free, followed by the next five exciting issues of Atlantis Rising. Call now and save. Upgrade initializing. This is Sci-Fi Prime, colonizing Friday nights on Sci-Fi with four new original series. Farscape, an intergalactic epic from the Jim Henson Company and Hallmark Entertainment. Poltergeist the Legacy, prepare to face the darkness. Sliders, Sci-Fi's biggest hit, takes on new dimensions. First Wave, from Francis Ford Coppola. Four new reasons to leave reality behind. This is Sci-Fi Prime. Friday nights, from 7 to 11 Eastern. Only on Sci-Fi. There, we've fixed every problem, found every flaw. What could possibly go wrong, huh? <laughs> oh, how about everything? I can't play now. A soul taker has appeared in the castle and it's attacking Bobo. Unhand him, you race. Get away, I'll save you, Bobo! I don't know who you are, but get your soul pinching paws off my monkey. Hey, Pearl, how's it going? Frank! Jimmy's Frank! Is it really you? Come here, Pearl! Frank, I thought you were dead. I am dead. I was in second banana heaven for a while, but it is so political up there. Pat Buttram had it in for me right for the start. So then I was an angel for a while, and then I got into big trouble for appearing to people as Della Reese. Scared the hell out of them. So they transferred me to Soul Taken. Oh. <coughs> oh, uh, Frank, brain guy, brain guy, Frank. Well met, deceased one. Hey, <laughs> great. Where'd you get the hostess snowball? <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> so how are Mike and the bots doing up there? Oh, well, let's take a look. Ah, we're plummeting in the Earth's atmosphere. It's gonna be sick. I can't believe it. This gordita is delicious. Oh, try a border fry. Oh, no, Kiffer, it was horrible. An unpleasant man tried to steal my soul, and, oh, hello, and he had this hair that... Uh, <gasps> oh, Frank, we have so much catching up to do. Let's have some General Foods International coffee. Oh, perfect. Get you up there. Get back into the theater. <laughs> Hey, what'd I do? You didn't do, Jack. We were saved by a tractor beam from that mysterious ship. Cambot, give me rocket number nine. What? Why then we're saved. Thanks, <laughs> Chips. Yeah, jump up my tube, white boy. Woo. Oh, oh, we got movie oh, we got movie fight. Oh. What else? I wonder if the Natalie's Bath channel is on. I could have sworn I heard something from this exact spot. Now, how would you know if it came from this exact spot? Well, I mean, from somewhere around here. What were you doing? I was just putting something away in the attic. Your father. Oh, for a minute there, I thought... Hmm? Oh, never mind. I'm going to lay down for a little bit. Can you turn off the water when the tub's full? Of course. 
Thank you so much for turning off the God, water. I'm so glad you were home. Now they're just gratuitously postponing the nudity. She looks like a drag queen without his wig. Mm. I pooped in my water supply. Okay. <clears throat> Interior, bedroom, me. Draped across the bed, tousled but tawny. I lay there, hand on my taut tummy, still pretty in a worried kind of way. Zoom in closer to my prettiness. Closer. We're gonna cut back to me, then me, then me, and more me. We've got a screenwriter. She needs a coffee drip. Stat. I'm going to bed. Don't you know, I usually like stuff. snuff films, but this one ain't cutting it. I don't get it. What happened to the skeleton? Huh, I hear clothes coming off. <laughs> Coast is clear. I'm ordering a steel cage match on pay-per-view. I don't know, but I think we better get out of here. Hey, whose house has all the rooms? Hmm? Is that my tummy, or is that a raging hell beast? Hey, they have three-pronged outlets, those bourgeoisie jerks. <laughs> Wipe out. It's the pantry of death. <sighs> Don't miss the terrifying water turning offing. Is there a turkey farm in the hall? <laughs> Charlie. Now beat it, biped. Don't you remember me? What's wrong, boy? Well, I'm really just feeling this emotional malaise these days. I don't know. Good-sized yard, plenty of room to rock. That's okay. Testicles are overrated. There's nobody out there. Oh, that's right. Dogs can't see idiots. Oh, roof, roof. Okay. Man, you know, this whole bath thing is getting to be more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready for our Japanese tea ceremony. Wow. Mom looks like Senor Wences's hand. Mm. I checked on the tub. It's got several more hours to go. Hmm. Do you plan on looking like this much longer? No, she takes off the wig and it's Kevin Bacon. <gasps> A huge mannish turtle! Oh no, it's you, Mom. <laughs> I fell asleep. Your bath is ready. Thanks. I filled it with golden popcorn topping. Natalie. I'm Ann Landers. I overheard your conversation downstairs. You're not considering dating Zach again, are you? <laughs> well, I still have feelings for him. How could you have feelings for someone who put your life in danger? Mom, I thought you liked Zach. I don't know what you see in him. Sweaty proletarian what pecs. What did he possibly give you? <gasps> You sound just like Dad. Natalie, listen to me. Mom, you're hurting me. Well, not you on your ass, Mom, so help me. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I, I was just concerned about you. I didn't mean to upset you. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna go withhold sex from your father. <sighs> ah, finally, possible nudity. Okay, <laughs> sit back. Yes. Enjoy newness. <sighs> that nude arm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, oh my, oh dear. Now, now I'm just embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you caught me doing this to you, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> you need any more water in the bathtub, honey? At the top of the news tonight, a serious car accident leaves two young people critically injured and three dead. We break now for a report. Hey. An official statement, Mayor? Please, I'd rather not comment at this time. Is it true that doctors have informed you to disconnect all life support systems for your daughter? I think it's a personal matter. Ew, I instantly need counseling. Just an official comment, Mayor. You want an official comment? I proclaim it lick me day. The doctors have declared my daughter... Patient of the month. Brain dead. We have accepted their recommendation to disconnect all life support systems. Everywhere. Okay, here it comes. Oh, oh I got something in my eye what? suddenly. Oh. Come on, hurry up, bro. It's an underwear suit. What? But, 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 well, help me out here. You gotta get, try it. Wow. Well, all right, I'm trying. Well, get it out. Wow. Oh, damn it. Keep showing underwear, movie. I'll be right back. I gotta, I gotta get this out. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Man, is there even a name for mom's little sickness here? A little affairism. I'll rinse out my country holes Hey, anybody see the Visine? I can't see a thing in here. <sighs> so she's been using an echo lady. Is there a slower mow available? Any kind of eye wash, anything? Gypsy, you gotta have eye wash, that big ass eye of yours. Hello. You know, if she turns around. I know, I know. If that happens, promise me you won't tell Crow. Oh yeah, right, sure. And what's going on now, you guys? It's fine. You, you got time. I'm good. <laughs> she, she's turning around. Did you say she's turning around? No, no, no Crow. I said she's spurning a clown. Well, I like that, too. I mean, where's the bison? Oh, boy. How do you get a purple bride? Midnight. Why don't you leave my husband alone? He's made a statement. Please give us that privacy. Okay, wait. I, I got a big Sam's Club thing of Visine in the attic. I'll be right back. Ah. As you can see, Mayor McMillan is under a great deal of stress this evening. St. Joseph Chief of Staff, Dr. Richard Reiner, has informed the News 10 that with parents' permission, the life support systems for both Natalie McMillan and the other surviving passenger, Zach Taylor, will be disconnected at midnight. All this plus Andy Rooney. What you what? <laughs> Sorry, Natalie. You'll never die. Or a lot of dust bunnies under here. Daddy, get out of here! Get out of here! And now she has to put on her underwear in slow mo. Get your dad's gun! I'm instantly dressed. Okay, I'm all visined up. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Ah, oh, hell, a robe? What the hell is this? I saw a lot. I saw everything. Shut up, Servo. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, Shut up. Hey, 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 Stupid on, Servo. Once they become teenagers, boy, do their tastes change. Everything gets louder. And they're always hungry. Sure glad I found this. Introducing new Chef Boyardee overstuffed beef ravioli. It's huge ravioli overflowing with beef to satisfy their growing appetites and zestier to satisfy their grown-up tastes. This is good stuff. But no matter how big he gets, he'll always be my little baby. Mom. <laughs> you overstuffed beef ravioli from Chef Boyardee. We have new facts about a nationwide conspiracy. Its members are profoundly happy. They're not forced to stay, but once they join, they never want to leave. Here's their latest recruitment effort. Now buy a DirecTV system and get free installation, plus three free months of programming with no long-term commitments. So hurry and sign up today. Someday we will all be one of them. Who are these people? DirecTV, what are you looking at? My name is Dennis Porter, and I work in the Ford Dummy Lab. They build it, we crash it. We don't care about the damage, we care about the people. Our testing exceeds the government standards. 
Ford has more five-star rated vehicles than any other car manufacturer. We go that extra mile to make sure that our cars are safe. I'm proud of that. Migraine pain, the blinding light, the nausea, the piercing pain. You may think nothing can help the pain, but the power of prescription Zomig can. For most types of migraine, Zomig is clinically proven to relieve migraine pain after the attack is underway. That's the power of Zomig. Get this free migraine information kit with savings on your first prescription for Zomig. To learn more, talk to your doctor or call 1-800-469-2534 about Zomig. Zomig is not for everyone. If you have certain types of heart disease or uncontrolled blood pressure, you should not take Zomig. Very rarely, some people without recognized heart disease may have serious heart-related problems. So talk to your doctor if you have risk factors for heart disease, such as smoking, high blood pressure, or high cholesterol, or if you are pregnant, nursing, or taking medication. Migraine pain? Get the power of Zomig now. Call for your free information kit and savings on Zomig. The insole taker. I have an offer for you, Natalie. Twelve issues for twelve dollars. I've got an offer for you, too. Let him go! I'll let him go. If you come with me. No! I'll go with him. Go ahead. Put him down. Put him down. I swear I'll shoot. Take a picture with him and let him go. Damn, the battery's dead. That's the kind of personal service you don't get from other soul takers. Mm -hmm. There. The still pictures are moving faster than the actual movie. So a seven iron knocks him cold, but a gun does nothing. Mm -hmm. You can't kill a man that's already dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you leave us alone? You belong with me. I belong with him! Don't be scared, Natalie. I got him. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, I've done that on spring break dozens of times. <laughs> I was going to give him a piggyback ride, but I slept. Zach, are you okay? Oh my God, thank God, I thought you were dead. Are you okay? Your mom is weird. I'm fine. Come on, come on. But after all that, no bass. Mm -mm. None. Is that your decision, then? That's your decision, Sean. <laughs> to die with him? Um, they're gone. Greg Luganis in the role of a lifetime. Dr. Fletcher, Dr. Fletcher, please report to intensive care. So how dead's your kid? Zach was really looking forward to seeing Natalie again. Well, he saw her, didn't he? Grant. You don't think much of my boy, do you? I try not to think about him at all. Oh, Grant, please. I'm sorry. We're all upset over what's happened. Please excuse my husband. He has a tendency to say things he doesn't really mean. I like fudge. You don't mean that. Call for Dr. Wachter. I hate buses. Oh, do the buses run this late? Yes, sister, I checked. There'll be one in just a few minutes. Stop running or I'll hit you in the head with a ruler. The police station is in the fire! Hey, the police can't help us now. Come on. We need to get on this bus. It's supposed to take us to the hospital. Oh, my God. We've got to go back to my house. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop. What are you doing? My mom! He said something to my mom. No, no, no. Your mom is fine. She's at the hospital. What? And hey, look, you wrote this crap. When I was at your house, I saw her on the news. She's... She's at the hospital. She's fine. But she was there. She hugged me. That wasn't your mother. That was that man. Hmm. How is that possible? I don't know, but... Look. They don't see us. You see that? They don't see us. Uh, is she you? That clerk didn't see us. You know, I'd rather follow the story of the nuns getting home. Mm. I don't understand any of this.
this? What's happened to us? Why don't they see us? All they know is that our bodies are at the hospital and we're here. You mustn't give me a break. So we're dead? Is that what you're saying? No, our bodies are being kept alive with machines at the hospital. My body's hooked up to a snowblower. So how do we get back to our bodies? I don't know. But let's get on this bus and it'll take us to the hospital. We can find out when we get there. <laughs> Gee, your soul smells terrific. Oh, I broke this bus driver's jaw with a Bible once. Thank you. It's everyone with a dead daughter gets a cup of soup night here at the Dr. hospital. Elliot. Grant. Dr. Elliot, oh. Call on two. Yes, thank you. Apparently it's on me. Dr. Reiner left this for you. Oh, wow, I gotta go with the Packers over the Lions. Favre's really kicking butt lately. The Redskins are the charges for sure. Please report to I don't know what I'm going to do without Zach. Maybe I'll shave my beard. Ever since his mother died. I... Look, I'm sorry I killed her. Must you bring it up every time I see you? I'm sorry. You don't want to hear about my problem. It's okay, Mr. Taylor. We understand. I'm not saying we care, but we understand. The nuns just flip off the driver and run off the bus. Hold on, my soul isn't wearing a sports bra. You know, most directors forget to give you the bus details. <laughs> bus taker. I'm no good with sick people. What am I even going to say to my body? This looks like a bus. It's all coming together. <laughs> Let's go to the cafeteria first, see if they got any tapioca left. Wait, how do we know what floor our bodies are on? We're just going to have to check each one. Yeah, souls can press elevator buttons, but they can't be shot. Hmm. What? They said on the news that at 12 o'clock, they're going to cut the machines off. Why 12 midnight? No, oh, maybe there's tax reasons. Urkel. Hey, Urkel. <laughs> Weird thing is, he's listening to Gregorian chants. You didn't know I could get jiggy with it, did you? Well, I guess Estevez can become a member of DeBarge at any moment. Mm. Man, he's the rich little of shapeshifters. You gotta give him that. I'm at Bradley. Now shut up. Where are you taking me? Administration and billing. Seventh floor. Oh, it's one of those high-class elevators. Um, aren't you due on the set of Werewolf? So he comes from a taller building then, mm -hmm. apparently. Can we tempt you with desserts? Packers! He said he had had to have a flashback to remember his best friend. Mm. Oh, I love you, Buttons. Mm, love. You don't need to be frightened, Natalie. Mm -hmm. Don't you see? What's happened to you is extraordinary. It's very rare for a soul to be jarred from its human host. Soul will get jarred off the wild mouth sometimes. Huh. I wonder where that bus is, Mike. They're letting us down on the whole bus thing. Mm -hmm.
lot of people think the best way to deal with allergies is to take a prescription, a common misconception. You see, Claritin only relieves these symptoms, but Tylenol Allergy Sinus relieves all these. Tylenol Allergy Sinus, take comfort in our strength. Here comes Pillsbury Toaster Strudel. They taste better than Pop-Tarts. What would you do to get one? Pillsbury Toaster Strudel. Something better just popped up. Feel the refreshment of Surt's powerful mints. Like skinny dipping. In Fargo. In February. Surt's powerful mints. With Retson. Keep your powerful cool longer. <laughs> Here's a new idea. A pain reliever from Aleve that goes to work fast and lasts all day. Introducing new Aleve gel caps. Like most gel caps, they go to work fast, but Aleve gel caps do more than work fast. They have the strength to work all day long with just two pills. It would take eight Tylenol to do that. Look, if your pain reliever starts fast but won't last, get one that does it all. New Aleve gel caps, two pills, all day relief. Works for me. Mystic Cliffs, a wine born of Pacific mist and California sun. Mystic Cliffs, a crisp, flavorful wine, rated a best buy in Wine Enthusiast magazine. Mystic Cliffs, discover it for yourself. Man, I hate this. It's so awkward in elevators. We're here. Where's here? Second love. My world. Where I'm more successful than Martin. Say the word, and the door to my world will open. What do you mean, your world? Who are you? <laughs> An angel. An angel? I'm almost sure. I take care of souls. I can keep you safe. Like the others in the wreck? Now, uh, let's not fling mud like that. I want to go back. Say that back. Death awaits you. Take me away from here! Hmm? There you are. You big baby, I don't even care. Baby. Then I'll show you. Natalie! Can you hear me? No, she thinks you're saying, Blowly! You still looking for her, man? And you're Marconi. How many times do I have to tell you? Natalie McMillan is out of your league, man. <laughs> This door is ragging on me like my idiot friend used to. It, it, it's the blonde guy. Yeah. He's become a soul taker. Right. Show, us. Guy. Right. Show us. Hurry up and do it. Come on. Father dude. You still around? I thought for sure you'd be dead by now. Come in. Okay, if you could just bring your urine sample to the desk. To you, man. I got a new job. <laughs> I didn't know I was applying for it. But I make pickups and deliveries. So the afterlife is just vague, menacing dopes from our own lives. That's the ultimate answer. Uh, don't worry, you're not on my list. <laughs> Art Garfunkel. Funny gag condo. You still haven't figured it out, have you, man? We have. Can we go? Zach, Led Zeppelin was wrong, man. Shut up. There is no stairway to heaven. Zeppelin's never wrong, man. Even if there was, you, you couldn't buy your way in. 
Is Sabbath wrong too, man? Through design, no, there is a heaven. And that's all part of it. They keep us in the dark. Make a bridge over. Yeah, gotta punch in. Excuse me. I don't even really know what to do here, man. Yeah, I had this big master class from God, but I was hammered the whole time. Let's see, you kind of take the some bitch here, look off kind of mystical, keep the arms straight, you know, I think. There we go. Nah, shoot, I got her last bowl of jello, too. What did you do to her? I toasted her ass. Nothing, man. She's right here. Gotta keep it warm in my pit. So, how's the babage in heaven? Hey, it's new clear blood. Hmm. What the? Oh, oh, it's a habit trail. I wanna thank you. Ugh. Imelda Marcos is close by. Uh, honey, you know, it's 5-2. Why don't we just do it now? Call it an early night. Hey, wow, she's really improved, but it is midnight, sorry. Do you feel like I... On the papers ready? Because I'm ready to kill. Mom! Don't let them! By the way, I ran another EEG. Stop it! Well, we can run EEGs all night if it's on your insurance. No. No. She's snuffleupagus. <laughs> so, I'm not going to make my tea time, huh? Thought for a moment. It's all right. Yeah. Don't do this Good luck with this one, pal. Sheesh. No, Mom, I want to live. You can't go back, Ellie. Goodbye, Pee-Pee. Pee-Pee? She can't hear you or see you, and if you touched her, you would only frighten her. Here's an old door hinge. It's better this way. In the human dimension, people die, they leave you. With me, you get to be a ring. Stay with me. I'll never leave you. I mean, I'll go to the store to get groceries. What about Zach? Zach is dead. That's what I said. Come to my world now, Natalie, while there's still time. Come with me. At this special low fare. Uh, hello? Kind of need an answer. <laughs> huh. We're drifting, our orbit's decaying, and the mysterious craft still hovers nearby, dark and ominous. It did save our lives once, but... Why? They're toying with us. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. Toying? Yes. What do you want, you demons? What do you want? What do you want? Who are, Who are you? Look, uh, behold. Uh, it's, 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 it's. Oh, it's just Joel. Yeah, you're going to get hey, that. Joel. It's Joel. It's Joel. <laughs> Joel. Oh, hey, go go back, back, go back, go back. Oh, it's good to see oh, you, man. thanks. Uh, wow. Crow, your voice kind of sounds different. Wow, weird. Uh, oh, I get it. You change your bowling pin. Smart. Yeah. And uh, Tom, it's good to see your uh, hover skirt still operational. It's yep. just great to see you guys all bright and shiny and in proper working order. Good to see you too, Joel. Say, how'd you get up here? Well, I don't want to go into too many details other than it cost me a ton to get up here. When I was down on Earth, I found that Dr. Forrester had sabotaged the satellite of love, so a lot of the major working components would self-destruct in 10 years. I knew there was something weird about that guy. Yeah. <laughs> So I came up here to fix it for you. Well, Joel, uh, <laughs> hadn't you better get started then? Yeah. Oh, I mean, we've got some time. I mean, uh, what have you guys been up to? Ah, uh, you know, same yeah. old, same old, and you? Right. 
Well, you know, after I crash landed on the Outback, I kicked around Australia for a little while, and then oh, I wow. uh, hooked up with the band Manor Astroman doing pyrotechnics. Uh, finally made my way back to the Midwest, where I now manage the Hot Fish Shop in Osseo. Cool. Hey, guys. All right, I'm set hey. to... Uh, <laughs> oh, hey, who do we got here? Mike, it's Joel. He's the guy who made us. Hey, He's going to fix our ship. Yeah, yeah, I know you. I'm wearing your tube socks. Oh. If, hey, did I hear you say you're managing a Hot Fish Shop? Yeah, it's, it's pretty neat. It's, it's great. I mean, how, how do you even get that? Well, I just had a really good interview. You know, I'm looking for an over Night cook. Are you serious? Oh, oh man. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm stuck up here. I'm never going to get down. Forget it. Man. Oh, man. Come on. Take it easy. You know, no, things just... are going to get better for you. I mean, uh, things change. Uh, yeah. You know, listen to me, you know? All right. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, you kids. Keep it down. Hey, hiya, Gypsy. Bite me. Oh, oh I better wow. get going on Gypsy. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Okay, okay. Joe. Okay. Well, See you later. A lot. Yeah. Bye, Joe. Bye bye. Ah. Joe's back. Yeah. <laughs> Think about it. You know, I mean, I'm stuck up here, and that guy gets to manage a hot fish shop. Hey, hey, don't compare yourself, Mike. It ain't healthy. Yeah. We'll be right back. Gets to bring out the dressing. Don't go there, man. Make the three beans salad. Yeah, you're, you're right. Hey, you're right. Uh, Mudslides, White Russians, B-52s, they keep the party going. We've been watching you. Every time you move, every time you bend, every time you breathe. That's how we got to be the best, most advanced sports nutrition company in the world. Twin Lab, we can't stop thinking about your body. Visit GNC today to get 20% off all Twin Lab Sports Nutrition and enter the Power Trip sweepstakes to win a Corvette, Harley, or thousands of other great prizes. If you've got little kids, you've got big messes. Try Bounty Rinse and Reuse with sponge-like durability. Old sponges can be grimy. Ordinary paper towels tear. But Rinse and Reuse can handle the toughest jobs. One sheet is durable enough to rinse, wring, and reopen. It works till the job's done. Then throw the mess away. The quilted quicker picker upper. Bounty Rinse and Reuse. What do Cub Cadet tractors dream about? Leveling everything in sight. When you've got a tough job, get a tough tractor. Cub Cadet. With a solid steel drive shaft, welded steel frame, and cast iron front axle. Backed by a five-year limited warranty. Call now and you'll get 0% financing for 12 months. Cub Cadets work harder, so you don't have to. With features like hydraulic lift, power steering with tilt, and cruise control. Not to mention a major appetite. It's Cub Tough. Cub Cadet. Call now for information on the complete line of Cub Cadets. And get 0% financing for the next 12 months. Cub Cadet. American made. American owned. <sighs> Good to see Joel. Hope he fixes the ship. How? has happened to you the accident oh that bites you want to get baked i tried to tell them over and over that i didn't mean to hurt anyone but they didn't believe me uh who would that be now i guess it doesn't matter how it happened or whose fault it was but if you kill someone this is how you have to pay it back it really blows i need your help and you owe me what do you mean i owe you the accident and I want to live. I want to get back into my body. You're crazy, man. You can't do that. How do you know? You just told me they keep you in the dark. Well, they gave us some stuff. I didn't really read it. And then I spilled the horsey sauce all over it. Dude. Man, they really got to fry my... <laughs> and Natalie. Natalie also. Natalie? Chick Harsh is my buzz, dude. Are you sure she's worth it, Zach? Does she really love you? I love her. 
That's what matters. That's why I've been stalking her so much. I don't think they're gonna fry you for, for doing a good deed. Eggs? They'll probably give you a promotion. Be able to work the counter, man. The oncoming elevator has its brights on. Take my hand. Who's your date, Ron? Where are we? We're on the bug zapper floor. This is a bridge between the human dimension and the world of angels. <laughs> Connected to a hospital? You're an angel of death. Well, associate angel of death. It's my fate, Natalie. Just as it is yours. To cause people to die? Solve, Joe. Let's get busy. <laughs> we don't cause people to die, Natalie. We merely take their souls when it's time for them to go. Yeah, death causing is a whole other department. I was chosen to take your soul. Yeah, sure, I shuffled some papers. I don't. No one will. Is that bad? Do you understand? Oh, and for technical reasons, your soul must be naked. Come with me, Natalie. All it takes is a kiss. <laughs> sure, but can your soul take chlorets? And we can live together forever. Oh, no. Joe's improving this. A pact between souls <laughs> must be seen. Can't I just bend at the waist and hug you from arm's length? Natalie! Don't tongue the Reaper! Dad, you're alive! Betty, run! You lied to me! Don't leave me, Natalie! Come on! Good bone, man. Come on, it's thoroughly past midnight by now. Elevators, too. The director does buses and elevators well. Yes. This is the floor you're looking for. Thanks a lot, No problem. Thanks. Hey, remember what I told you? Rock on. Put it right on the heart. Right. Sorry what I said about Zap. Oh, you better bring a couple of these. You might need them. Can't be careful naming after me, man. <laughs> Do you really think this is going to work? Are we going to be able to get back into our bodies? Hey, man, I gotta go. St. Peter's gonna be tar. Standing scene, scene, scene. Overlong film, film, film. Fuck, 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 film. Overlong film. Extending scene. Overlong film. Prudential signs. Like that, do it! Just do it, you dummy. I'd rather make out than live. Man, I really need to freshen my makeup. Ooh. Duh. Badly. Uh, uh, Ritz and spit. Good, uh, There's no God, there's just dude. Come on, Natalie. Ah, her soul got snagged on her brooch. Mm -hmm. I know what they're going through, though. You know, once I left my soul on the top of the car and drove off. I mean, that's why I put strips of Velcro along the edges of my soul to hold it in place. Sure. Mm -hmm. I wish my shop teacher were here. He'd know what to do. Now, what is he doing? Her soul's gonna be all threadbare and worn out. <laughs> and stay out, damn kids, nosing around my souls. Learning to palm the soul is the tough part. Something screwed up, but I can't call my boss again. I'll get in trouble. A guy running through a hospital. That's news. Yeah. 
Do you feel a lower class breeze? Wheeling Captain Pike down the hall. <laughs> Those balloons cheer me up. Estevez is on his way to give his healing through humor workshop. No, don't go in there. You might find something interesting. Wow, this is terrific action here. Mm -hmm. Now, these ants, they're all over the juju bee you dropped, Mike. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, <laughs> Man. They're really fighting. Look at him go. It does provide a stark contrast to the film. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go. It's the THX 1138 stairs. Ah. Uh. You know, this has action and nostalgia because we've seen it before. Well, Maul, don't do that movie. Well, there is a seventh floor. It's Heaven's Boiler Room. Yes, behind the fluffy surface of Heaven hums a complex infrastructure. Drum machine is stuck on. You know, David Byrne is right. Heaven is a place where nothing ever happens. Come on. You know, you really can see Akira Kurosawa's influence here. You know, what with the way there's a movie going on and stuff, yeah. and it's on film. It's something Hitchcock would have been proud of, his pet chimpanzee directing. <laughs> Boom. Hey, Zeppelin was right. There is a stairway to heaven. Sure, soul taking's hard, but it's better than making cold calls like you used to do. Alarm! Alarm! Schnell! Max, schnell! <laughs> I ain't gonna kiss you, Estevez. You can put my green crap in that ring, but no kissing. on top of the heaven building. <laughs> You're it. It's all over now. Oh, I wish that were true. You've got this huge customer. They're so huge, sometimes they don't even know when they've received a shipment. Whose problem is this? yours. That's why you ship UPS, because only UPS Total Track captures signatures electronically. Then you can use UPS online software to see your customer's actual signature. So when they say, we never got it, you can say not only did you get it, but uh, you don't dot your eyes. UPS, moving at the speed of business. Sir, somehow Johnson's had a pizza delivered. A delivery boy just waltzed in here? Fancy crust, toppings, looks that way, sir. Find him, now! The Rising Crust Pizza that bakes up fresh like Pizzeria Pizza. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Here, taste! Imagine a day outdoors without the runny nose. Imagine a day indoors without the itchy eyes. Make it happen with Benadryl, the histamine blocker that blocks histamines indoors and out. Get outdoor allergy relief and indoor allergy relief with Benadryl. And for allergies with sinus pain and pressure, there's Benadryl Allergy Sinus Headache. Benadryl's Allergy Relief plus Maximum Strength Sinus Medicine. Imagine life without allergies and sinus pain. Benadryl. Welcome to the year 2000. Still waiting for the future? Get a little taste of tomorrow right now. Shop online at the Sci-Fi Store for the latest and greatest selection of sci-fi merchandise awaits. www.scifi.com slash store. Enter our advance order catalog for all new Star Wars merchandise only at the Sci-Fi Store. 
want tiny robots to clean up after me. Television in my eyelids. I want to sing with Michael Jackson. To replace my identity. To slow down time. Music. I ingest. Sci-fi. I left the house this morning with three soul rings. Oh, his 32K cash memory brought up a little video. He's <laughs> letting the air out of a balloon on the way down. <laughs> God needs to know when you're taking your vacation. It is over now. <laughs> Eight plugs pulled, two to go, not bad. Is he dead? No. I don't even disconnect the machines. I was just checking on him. The spotter left that sign on the floor. So your soul is subject to gravity? I have so many questions. Can souls get toe fungus? Can I still have butter if I'm a soul? And back in the hospital for more run. I can still take them. Okay, can souls put out their t-shirts? Does Retson work on souls? Help me. Man, my boxers are riding up my crack. Look, the clock doesn't figure it all. Stop showing the clock. You spent that nickel. Paula Cole, that's who he looks like. Yeah. It's 12.03. Lunch is getting cold. Abused your order. You violated the balance. You know the penalty for presumption. What the hell? Uh, hey, hey, hey. Now, wait a minute. No, no, no. Huddle up in the middle here, movie. Come on. Uh, no. You know, I, I don't think this movie knows the penalty for presumption. <laughs> hey, we gotta get to Summerfest, man. Are you going to be grieving like this at the Grayson's dinner tomorrow? My God, that kid's from a lower class. It's sad. Cool. Yeah, I'm drunk, so what? Hmm. Yeah, okay, the first time the soul must have been tilted. It wasn't sitting in the rack just right. Check out the headband. He must have joined Loverboy. Come on, come on, the machines! What do I pay you people for? Don't die. Drop it. Spit it out. No, no. Spit it. Don't die. Because if you die, it'd be like so bogus. I love your clownish hair and your pasty forehead. <laughs> I know you can, because I don't know. I can make it right! Evan's tired of the crap, man. There is no appeal. If they die now, they lost forever. Lost to whom, from, where, why, and good or bad. Come on, just hop in the ring. Come on. Don't put me in there, it stinks! Oops. Um, there are a few medical procedures we could try, if you could back out of the way, please. <laughs> Remember the great flashbacks we used to have? <laughs> the movie's story arc. Come on! Making Dude's gonna drive us to Taylor's Falls tomorrow! Hmm? Look at her go. She's running here, there, over there again. She's like a ferret. She's alive. Quit pulling my hair. Well, look, she's darting about like mad. Uh, so you're going to live? Well, I'm going to need your group number. Hey, it shrunk.
He's such a loser. Oh, shh. Well, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. It's all right, Zach. We've been waiting for you. You waiting for me? We want to thank you for saving Natalie's life. We owe you a great deal. Now, why the Kataro soundtrack? Thank you very much, sir. We'll leave you two alone now. All right. Thanks, Dan. Bye, sweetie. Bye. We'll see you back at the house. All right. Okay. <laughs> Stupid poor kid. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Surprise? A little bit. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. I don't have a wiener. Oh. But that's not the surprise. Ah, I broke my leg. Can I look? Not yet. Not yet. Almost. The other side of the mountain of crap. Okay, now you can look. A plastic surgeon ready to fix your nose. Oh. What do you think? Oh, sad. Yeah, unfortunately, it's Christine. I worked overtime, so it'd be ready before you got out. Dude's gonna come by later and roll it. <laughs> it's beautiful. Like you're beautiful. Yep, she did write this. Come on. Here's my gearhead. <laughs> you gotta sell the soundtrack and everything. Hey, he bought khakis. If he could just learn to buy polo shirts and turn the collar up, he could run in her circles. I call it gas taker. So perfect. You know, I bet the car is Joe Estevez. I feel like we've been given a second chance. We have. I think. I'm still sorting it out. But what if he comes back? I'll buy more hair gel. Maybe we'll meet again in paradise. There is none. It's only a boiler room at the top of a hospital. Splash. And what do they do with that second chance? Start souping up cars and going to Summerfest. <laughs> I parked in the emergency zone. Screw that stroke victim. <laughs> so. Poodle hair and rubber lips drive off into the sunset, and it's sunshine and roses ever after, eh? Uh, you seem dubious. Yeah, Mike, I am dubious. I'm dubious. My guess is that on the way home, scrawny boy there leans over to rub his carnauba waxed lips on his little honey and ends up ditching that sweet ride of his. Crow, you with me on this? Oh, no doubt. Things don't go near as smoothly as Mike would like us to think. Oh, wait, I didn't say no, things No, Mike's living in a fool's paradise. Dreamer. No happy endings for our heroes, though. No. After Teen Boy puts his ride in the ditch there, he needs extra money to pay the insurance cost and to buy a new disc sander and a couple of gallons of Bondo. So he takes a second job at Carl's Jr. Yep, yep, and about a week into his new job, he comes to pick her up in his busted car, wearing a big orange hat and smelling of frying medium, and she cools on the whole relationship immediately. Only it drags out painfully for about another month because she doesn't have the guts to tell the second-rate Matt Latanzi to take the train. Yep, yep, yep. And finally, she gives him the news through the drive-up intercom that she just wants to be friends. And when the whole restaurant is finally done laughing at the poor Claude, he walks off the job and drives straight to the municipal liquor store to pick up a quart of lemon-flavored gin and a six-pack of red grape malt duck. Uh, uh, uh yeah, hang on. You know, Mike, Mike might think that was the happy ending. <laughs> so you guys really think I'm a naive Pollyanna, don't you? Um, yes, we do. Hang on, there's more Mr. Rose-colored glasses. So he drinks his way through the whole paper bag drives a good 75 yards and crashes into a pole. Well, the car hangs on to the base of the light pole so he can't get out of there. He thumbs a ride back to his house, but the police arrive about 45 minutes later, wake him up, and give him the breathalyzer. He blows a 1.3, so it's off to the Crowbar Motel for Mike's little pal. Well, of course, he calls his former girlfriend to come pick him up, but Mom answers the phone and hangs up on him. His one call spent, he stays the night at the place with the stripes on light, courtesy of the county. Soon, he's straining, rubbing alcohol through pieces of burnt toast he found out behind Zelda's diner. <laughs> oh, hang on, wait a minute, I think that's a touch bleak. <laughs> well, you know, maybe you're right, Mike. Maybe they have a wondrous, frilly wedding in the frou-frou land of bunnies, where magical fairies blow kisses to the stars <laughs> and polka-dotted toadstools sing good ship lollipop to the tiny mice in their little feety pajamas. Okay, and there's nothing in between. It's either grain alcohol in back alleys or a happy world of rodents in feety pajamas. Yes. I mean, why is that so hard to accept? You know, <laughs> you guys need help. You really do. Jeez. Jeez. Wait, wh what's with Mike? Grain yeah, alcohol me, through toast. <laughs> Do, 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 do. 
So, uh, how did it go, Joel? Uh, it went pretty good. I did have some trouble, though, with the digital switching module. It was all greasy. Yeah, Mike here tried to patch it with strips of bacon. Oh, well, uh, I've updated all the necessary systems. You shouldn't have any problems for the next 10 years or 20 million miles, whichever comes first. Uh, you know what? I did want to show you this fuel filter, though. You see all that gunk that is building up in there? Ew, yuck. Uh, that's got to affect performance. Yeah, it sure does. It's a good thing I happen along here. Now, if you'll just sign this, uh, I'll be on my way. Okay, well, thank Thanks a lot. Yeah. Sorry about that. I don't think about my fuel filter. No, that's filter. the thing. People yeah. don't think about Oh, you know what? Pearl's calling. Hang yeah, on. Yeah, you can pay me now. Pay me later. Yeah, Whatever. no, I hear you. Joel? Is that Joel Robinson? <gasps> Look, at hey, Frank. Frank. Look at that. It's Frank. Frank, how are you, Frank? Pretty good. Uh, been soul stealing. In fact, you're on my list. I'm going to need your soul. You know, when, when, when you get a minute. Uh-oh, you better get going there, Joel. Hey, hey, what about us? Can you take us with you? Uh, no, I don't really want to. Why? What? Why? Well, well, I'll tell you why. Because the years I spent here on the satellite of love were the best damn years of my life, and I wouldn't want you mugs to miss a minute of it. Really? Yeah, really. It made a man out of me, and maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, it'll make a man out of you, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. Right. You get going, and I'll stay yeah. here, and I'll get busy being a man. Yeah. That's right. I right. knew there was something I liked about you, Mike. <laughs> and you two bots, you just keep them flying, and remember Joel, all right? Well, all right. Yeah. 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 Sorry, Joel. Right. Good night. There goes Joel Robinson. Yeah. Get yeah. 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 yourself out. Right, right out there, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Oh, man, think about it. A real man like that allowing me to find my own way. That's right. Hey, press the button like a man, Mike. Yeah. Give it a try. OK. Oh, yeah. Smooth for the man. Oh, man, I'm gonna catch hell from my boss. I haven't brought back any souls yet. Oh, Frank, please, take my soul. I'm not going to be using it. Oh, no, I yeah. couldn't, really. Oh, I well, hang on. Hey, hey, brain guy. You? Oh, uh, Frank here is going to be stealing your soul. Oh, I'm sorry. You're barking up the wrong albino. I, I'm just a brain. 100% soul free. Sorry. <sighs> Would, um... Someone maybe like to uh, steal uh, my soul? <laughs> really? Are you sure it's okay? Oh, this old soul, please do me the favor of stealing it. <laughs> wow, okay. Come on. Please. Oh, oh, there it goes. It's slipping out now. There. <laughs> You'll be top soul stealer in no time. I know. Let's play ring toss with your soul. <laughs> I knew these two would get along.